What's up guys, Davidson here, and I have some uh, Black Ops Sniper gameplay for you guys, uh, but let's get right into it. So uh, we're actually going to start out with the regular scope, of course. Um, I will now uh, make a mark on my target, basically, so you can see where the center of my screen is. Um, now I didn't breathe in until the very end, so you saw that my scope hovered around a bit. This is where I do breathe in. So, basically you can see that when my scope comes up, it has, uh, like, it needs some time to adjust, basically. Um, yeah, this basically keeps you from quick scoping like you would in COT 4, Roll at War, Mom Warfare 2, COT 2, like every previous COT game. But, as you can see here, boom, it is not impossible to quick scope um, after patch. So, it will be a lot harder, it will be a lot harder to be consistent. Uh, as you can see, you will have to hard scope uh, a couple of shots. Um, the thing is that if you uh, compare uh, this quick scoping to Mal Warfare 2 quick scoping, then you can't even call it quick scoping. Basically, then it's hard scoping. Um, the reason why I, uh, you know, see this as the Black Ops quick scoping is simply because this is probably the best way to play aggressively with a sniper rifle in this game um, so yeah um, as you uh, can see uh, I was just trying out some trick shots here and I didn't have much time so you know they're a bit fail in, in like uh, execution but they're alright um, Alright, so this is the infrared scope, uh, basically the equivalent of a thermal scope from Mal Warfare 2. Um, basically handles exactly the same as a regular scope, so uh, I have some big gameplay with that as you can see. Um, <coughs> yeah, sorry, I just have like uh, this little tickle in my throat. <laughs> uh, <coughs> Alright, there we go, um, excuse me. Alright, so uh, as you can see, I, I clearly hit that guy, but because I didn't time my shot right and didn't wait until the scope had um, like lined up, basically, uh, I didn't get the kill. So you will really have to get the timing down. Uh, this is a nice little game winning kill. Boom, 360 swap scope. Uh, not so easy to do, uh, especially with the patch. Uh, I'm already seeing that it's going to be a pain to land trick shots uh, before you hit the ground basically because in Modern Warfare 2 like for a trick shot to be you know executed cleanly uh, you basically need to hit the, sh the, the actual shot in me there but uh, I don't think that will be possible so moving on uh, we have the variable zoom now this looks like a rec scope on first sight but as you can see it will zoom in twice so it has uh, a total of three levels of zoom basically uh, there's the default one which is this one then there is a plus one which you saw now which I think is best for quick scoping personally and then there's the plus uh, three which is the uh, the longest range so uh, here's some uh, some gameplay with the variable scope uh, the variable zoom excuse me uh, so you can see I miss those two guys, then I get a uh, no scope on that guy. I zoom out because I see that I'm like too zoomed in. So this is great, you know. Uh, of course, this is a hard scope, but you know it is good for taking those long range shots, especially with the patch. It's actually not uh, like too much, uh, too much of a um, of a luxury, I guess, to uh, be able to scope in further and just line up your shot real easy like that so uh, you can see I just got a uh, sniper rifle perfectionist I really like this scope although it's probably gonna be the hardest scope to play with but um, yeah I must say I really enjoy it like the whole um, like controversy about it and like all the people complaining about it even people complaining about it uh, seeing gameplay like this and and you know getting hands-on time with it and just saying like the sniping is completely fucked 
no it's it's just different and it's a lot harder basically but you will still be able to get uh sniper feeds uh i mean steady aim still works like it did in previous call of duties oh you saw me do a nice little zoom thing there um but uh yeah so i, I think that steady aim will be a lot less frowned upon in this game because being close quarters with a sniper rifle in this game is basically impossible so uh, I think that steady aim will make it, uh, will be making its return um and uh yeah like I I'm telling you I'm I'm really excited for this game to actually go online with it cuz I haven't gone online with it yet I have an offline Xbox to play it offline but uh yeah anyways moving on uh the ACOG scope uh this was anticipated to be probably the best scope for quick scoping um true but like you can see that sometimes I actually scope in and sometimes I just pop shot basically um, now the thing is you see that it doesn't you know it's not affected by the patch it just has its idle sway that it would normally have in every other Call of Duty but it's actually uh, yeah kind of tricky because you would want to pop shot with it as you did in like uh with like the cot four uh ACOG scope, but as you can see I I basically hard scope like really quick, you know, I just don't aim in for too long as you're gonna see right here. I miss a shot and then I get this, you know, it's it's a hard scope compared you know, like in the other Call of Duties, but it's it's a bit of uh of a necessity in this game basically, so yeah, what I'm trying to prove with this video basically is what why I'm making this video is for all the people who are now doubting about getting the game. Uh you can still play aggressively with a sniper rifle. If you wanna go like real crazy, you can just jump back on COP4 or Modern Warfare 2. But um Yeah, the point I want to make here is that it's a good game and you can still snipe in it. And uh I will enjoy it and I hope you guys will. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, at least, and uh, if you did, give me a rating and maybe leave me a comment about what you think about it, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, peace.